really is to help people understand that everyday ordinary folks like us can be a part of a simple solution. I genuinely think that we defer to the large institutions and then we get frustrated wondering why we don't see results. Uh, small nonprofits and every ordinary people, or everyday people like, uh, like you and me in Abilene can make a big difference. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest challenge, is overcoming that perception that we can't do anything. You know, it's, it's people say, why doesn't somebody do something? And then, well, wait a second, we are somebody. Mm -hmm. And this is a simple plan that allows and enables, effectuates such uh, uh, methods so ordinary folks like us can do something that's significant. And I, I really do think that's the, the major hurdle. Once we deliver safe water and uh, deliver food, that, uh, that our partners who work with people they know by name can make sure is in the right hands at the right time for people in genuine need. And we're talking literally millions of servings of food and millions of gallons of safe water. And once we provide the medical supplies, it makes a significant difference. Uh, we received an email from a partner in Liberia this week. From, uh, it was a letter from the president of Liberia that was published also through the AP. But uh, he was so excited to say the president is specifically asking us to engage. And Esther can tell you a little bit more about who that partner is, and uh, we're, we're, we're certainly uh, wanting to engage. And I think that engagement has to, to, that engagement will be prompted when people believe genuinely we can make a difference. This is, this is stopping Ebola where it is and stopping it from coming here, and it's really starting in Abilene. Because you're sitting out three shipments.